thank you, thank you for giving me this opportunity. My name is Michael Green, and I am 51 years old, and yes, I believe in Santa Claus. Some of y'all might laugh, and that's cool, but I know that Santa Claus is real. Not in the manner that we have always been told, but Santa Claus is real. Now, we've been told Santa Claus lives in the North Pole. That's a white man lie. Santa Claus really lived in the South Pole. And guess what? Santa Claus is a black man. Uh-huh. And if you travel to Egypt, or if you really do your research and get the information, if you examine the walls of Kemet, you see this image. I'm going to put a screenshot up here, right? You see this image. You got this person that look like he's on a chariot. And these eight little uh, emblems in front or whatever. That's Santa Claus. Because Santa Claus was delivering the ancient Egyptians' presents way back 5,000 years ago. <laughs> See, the white man got y'all all messed up and those Afrocentrics got y'all all messed up. Santa Claus is a black man. Now, not only do Santa Claus bring us presents, and he don't always have to do it in the month of December. He can bring you a present almost any time. But most times, the most busiest that he do his thing is around December. Y'all be celebrating Christmas. Santa Claus don't even represent no Christmas. He's just a black man. If you good at heart, he award the good people, the righteous, the holy. That's what black people is because we... Righteous and holy by nature. Santa Claus is a black man. Yeah, I believe in Santa Claus. I know how to look beyond the lie that the white man tried to paint Santa Claus to be. <laughs> and this is the thing about it too. See, when I die, and y'all think y'all put me in a grave. What happens is. The same way Santa Claus. Go around the world. And give out presents. Santa Claus also go. To the graveyards. Where the believers. Is resting. And he take the soul. Because the soul. Gonna just hang over the graveyard. Over the spot where I was buried. And Santa Claus come and pick me up. And then we go to the South Pole. And Santa Claus put you in a transitioning chamber. And you spend like nine months. Like if you was a brand new baby. You spend nine months in that uh, transitioning chamber. Like you did nine months in your mama womb in the physical life. And you come out with a brand new body. And we live forever. And we help Santa like an elf. And we help build toys and stuff like that in the South Pole. That's right. Feed the reindeer. And really, they call them reindeer. They're not really reindeer. They are like a hybrid. Uh, uh, between a hybrid and an antelope type of thing. And they got special. Oh, see, y'all don't understand where I'm coming from. Santa Claus house 
Everything about Santa Claus is powered by solar energy. Because the black man absorbs, and it's natural for the black man to absorb solar energy. Everything about the South Pole, everything about Santa Claus, solar energy. <laughs> I know, I know. I, 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 Y'all laughing and sniggling and you giggling about what I'm saying. I, I mean, it's all right. Because I know the truth. I got my facts. See, science supports Santa Claus. You can use basic science and you can tell that there's a Santa Claus. And if you look in the history books, in every civilization, there's a story about somebody like Santa Claus. If you look it up. I'm going to screen share the stuff for you. <laughs> now, of course, y'all will laugh and you will Google over an adult who still believe in Santa Claus. But at the same time, this is exactly how you sound. You sound the same way. You sound no different than a person, an adult person who still believe in Santa Claus. But you don't want to make mockery of your belief Many of you never going to die. You just, or the flesh just dies and you turn into some kind of conscious energy. And you go into these spiritual realms and you float around the universe forever. I don't know what is this soul made out of? What is What makes this energy conscious? You never really can explain and. Y'all go to science and you talk about the dark hole and whatever these scientists have discovered and you try to mix that in with your belief. The same way that it described here. Christians hear about old boats they find on top of mountaintops or whatever. That's Noah's Ark. And find old ships and things of this nature, some type of artifacts and you claim and you want to say that's Noah's Ark or that was the grave of Jesus or <laughs> whatever. You have you have the same type of beliefs and it sound no different than somebody who say 51 years old and they still believe in Santa Claus. You say, let's let's just deal with some of these uh, beliefs. I heard some of y'all say that you can talk to the universe because of your hair. The black man's hair is different from the white man's hair because of the coiled nature of the black man's hair. You can talk to the universe. Now, I don't know what messages that you get from the universe. It's not giving you a solution to your problem. It's not doing nothing for you. It's not telling you how to win the lottery or how to create a business or how to improve your marriage. What is the universe telling you? Mind you, that your hair is nothing but dead cells. Dead skin cells or cells. It's dead cells. How, how does that work? How does, how does dead cells communicate? <laughs> I don't know. Well, anyway, that's, that's, that's one of y'all beliefs. Also, uh, I heard that Islam is mathematics. Mathematics is Islam. But yet, you cannot put 
an Islamic mathematical equation on paper. All mathematics you can put and show how you arrived at whatever it is, you can put it on paper. You always see these scientists in front of a chalkboard and they put their equations, mathematical equations on how they came up with uh, whatever it is. You don't see believers in Islam who make this claim. Well, you know, Islam is mathematics and mathematics is Islam. You never see them put it on paper as an equation. And that's what mathematics is. You can put it on paper. You can. It's a it's a discipline. One plus one is equal to. Islam is a religion has nothing to do with mathematics. Islam is a religion of belief. You do not have to believe. In mathematics, it's a discipline. It's a way to gauge something that men came up with. Counting. What, what's, a, what's, what's another? Um, what's more of these? Uh, uh, the tribe of Shabazz. There's no evidence a tribe of Shabazz ever existed. But we believe in it. Just like we believe in Santa Claus. You can't prove a tribe of Shabazz ever existed no more than somebody could prove, really prove, that Santa Claus existed. They would do the same thing, go find little bits and pieces, and try to make this real evidence support their belief system. There's something else they like to say, they like to talk about. You like to talk to dead people. I talk to my ancestors. How do you do that? With, with your iPhone? You got an a, a app for your iPhone so that you can talk to... How you talk to, to ancestors, dead people? H how do you do that? It's never explained. I talk to my ancestors and, and the ancestors going to do this and the ancestors going to do that. And you talk and they speak of the ancestors always in general terms. They never really, they never say specific people. The ancestors. And usually when they talk about the ancestors, they talk about somebody they never saw that probably uh, lived uh, 5,000 years ago, 10,000 years ago, whatever. They never make references to people they actually know. And that's because you know that you're not, you can't produce them, you can't see them, you can't talk to nobody. You call darkness black. Darkness is not black. Black is an adjective. Dark is void of color. Darkness is not color. Darkness is void of color. Anyway, there's so many different beliefs. If you can laugh, so what's the sense of arguing back and forth and debating belief when all of it sounds just like this. You're too old to continue to believe in any form or should be thinking this kind of way. You're in no position to laugh at nobody's belief. <laughs>